Can we get into the tag though? Miami Elite Steamers. It starts at 60, but then they have a gold, gold version for 160 and a platinum for 200. And I'm not knocking it, cause detailing is expensive and they be doing a damn good job. Like you will literally get in your car and it feels brand new. But I'm just trying to get a simple wash and keep it pushing. Plus they do an amazing job as well. I still get into my car and it feels brand new. Have I ever had a car detailed? I think I have once actually. Like a long time ago. Oh, I'm trying to like not touch my face, not touch my eyes, like. So I was doing my makeup today and you know, I was just going through my everyday routine and I was about to put lashes on or no, I wasn't even about to, but it was, you know, we were getting onto the step where I'd put mascara and everything on and I actually really liked how my makeup looked without it. And I feel like that's great because some days, like if you're really used to wearing lashes or really used to having lash extensions, I remember when I was getting lash extensions consistently for a summer and I had to stop getting them because my body is extremely allergic to them. It's like the one thing that my body just rejects. I, I felt so ugly. Like I feel like everybody that has lash extensions, you get so adjusted to having such a glam face the moment you wake up it's just yeah and the same can happen with lashes i don't feel ugly without lashes but normally i do feel like my makeup and my look looks way better with lashes so the moment i felt that i was like oh shit we ain't doing the lashes today i just feel like this is giving very fresh very classy very clean i'm not saying you can't look that way with lashes because you most definitely can but you know what i'm saying it's like a no makeup makeup look it's just perfect for this weather but anyways i'm just trying to figure out where i want to go for breakfast do i want to go to starbucks or do i want to go to this cafe that looked amazing online i'm feeling like i want to go there i just feel like it may be packed maybe not it's a wednesday it's 10 45 in the morning that we're out early. Is it really? It says this cafe has parking. So if it does, I could take a little look, see what we're working with because I would love for us to try out a new cafe today. It's called the Bistro Cafe, I think. And I don't know if my little egg bites and overnight grains are gonna do it today. I no Diamonds on my neck, frozen tears. You know what this reminds me? Or this reminds me I need to pay my Spotify. I've been using Spotify since I was maybe 12. Like it's the only, that and SoundCloud. I've been using for a very long time as well. Bitch, you the fuck? Okay, so update. I've been driving around for like five minutes trying to find parking. It's definitely on the busier side. I drove past it, you know, kind of looked into the building before making my decision, but I'm definitely gonna go. I would just love to try a new place because I go to Starbucks every single day and there's just still so much here that I've just yet to do. It's crazy because it's not even that far from me, but it's different driving past an area and actually, you know, driving through it and checking out what they have in that area. Um, like, I record and I pass these buildings all the time, but I've never actually realized that there's, you know, restaurants and cafes and things like that attached to them. So, yeah, that's very exciting. Is this a parking spot? I just wanna make sure. Or I know it is, but I wanna make sure I'm not in the yellow, cause I'm not. Getting a ticket to be safe. Damn, that's kind of a walk. People walk here all the time. I'll be fine. I just don't really feel it. Like it's a three minute walk out the door. But I am gonna park. Um, is he taking it? Yeah. Okay, this will have to do. I'm really close to this car, but if I'm even like slightly touching a yellow line, I'm not risking it because I'm gonna be bored. You know what, just to save time, I'm gonna call and see if I can just walk in or if it's packed and I'll have to, you know. Cause if that's the case, we're just going to Starbucks. Cause I'm not walking all the way over there to get rejected. That is so cool. And I don't want to pay for parking just to have to come. Cause I've done that before. You're gonna get told in that spot. That's literally where I was trying. The mailbox of the person you are calling is Yeah, I'm gonna be real honest. I literally, it was 
packed like when I looked from the outside I couldn't see nearly how packed it was on the inside and although I could have been seated the people in front of me were just about to sit I think so I left before they even finished their conversation I got way too overwhelmed like there was way too many people in there for me to go and sit in there like I mean sitting by myself is one thing but trying to sit eat and film by myself I'm sorry, I just can't do it. I would have had to be outside, but it was too hot for that. And it was just like an immediate feeling of, of me just being overwhelmed. And if I don't have to do it, it's not like I need to go eat at this restaurant. I'll come back with a friend. I'm gonna go to Starbucks instead. I'll come here, like maybe even tomorrow, just with somebody else. It's just not a place, oh shit, this person is literally giving out tickets and um, I'm leaving. I was only here for like five minutes, but still. Who oh, imagine if I came back like a minute late? He's already checking his. Damn. I think the only reason he didn't check mine is because I'm literally leaving. Okay, so I've actually decided I'm gonna try to swing by one more place because I really want to go to a place that has more of a cafe breakfasty feel, but I just don't want. It was an overwhelming amount of people. Like this is prime brunch time. It's 11 a.m. and so. Okay. This place is two minutes, so maybe everybody's at the Bistro Cafe and we can go to this one. What is it even called? Sagrado Cafe. So we will see. You know how good at parallel parking I've got since I've moved here? You know how good I've had to get at parallel parking since I've moved here? Like. My favorite thing to do when parking, even if it's not parallel parking, is looking into the reflection of other people's cars to kind of see where I'm at, if I'm about to hit, um, you know, like the cement block they have. That's like the main thing because it's so easy to run over them and then if your car is low, you're gonna fuck up your car trying to park. So anytime I can look at the reflection in this car, this truck is really helping me out right now. So I just got to this other cafe. So much more my vibe. There is like 10 people in here max. I wanted this atmosphere just not as overwhelming. That must be like a really popular cafe. So looking at the menu, I'm definitely gonna wanna try one of their drinks. But they have a coffee bar, they have a wellness bar, they have acai bowls, ooh, mango. Blend it with passion fruit, top of fresh fruit, and granola. That sounds amazing. I'm definitely still in more of a breakfast mood. It says they have breakfast all day, avocado toast, waffle. Let me look at what I saw that looks good on there. Hi, good, how are you? Good, can I get you? Um, I don't know. Sorry. I would give you a minute. What is it? I would give you a minute. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, I think I'm gonna try the matcha latte, mango passion bowl, and what is this? What is this? Um, what is that? I wanna know what that is. I'm gonna ask about that. Okay, so I'm back in the car now. Food was really good. I ate all of my eggs benedict and I would have eaten all of the bowl, but there was so much of it and then it was very sweet. It was amazing. I didn't even expect it to taste that good, but I got the rest in this container here. I know this is really extra, but I'm very close to my place. And I hate what I'm wearing. I hate the way it makes me feel. I just don't 
like it. Yeah, like I just want to change everything. And since I'm close by and I don't want to go the rest of the day feeling like that, I'm going to change because I'm trying to feel, I don't know, what you're wearing can make a huge difference. And I don't mean it has to be anything more than what I'm wearing, but like this outfit itself, I'm just not feeling the most confident in. So I'm going to change. I don't know to what. Oh, is this car waiting for me? Oh. Sorry, poop. I'm over here vlogging and she waiting for my spot. I didn't even see her. Oh, I have a headache. Like, it feels like a lingering, oh, what is it called? Brain freeze? Because I downed that matcha so quick because I wasn't trying to waste it, but, like, my head is actually kind of throbbing. I think the next thing we're going to do are the two things that I'm not as excited to do which are an oil change and a car wash you know what my car says maintenance due soon not now so it's probably just letting me know because it'll also change to maintenance due now i'm gonna wait till it's due now because i still have like 800 miles until i'm gonna need it technically from what the sticker they put in my car tells me <laughs> oh my god that is fucking awkward I was literally minding my business, but it's like here. Damn, that lady is gone. Here, the moment you, this is why in public it's always good to look like, even if you don't know what you're doing or you don't know where you're going, it's always best to act as if you do. Always act like you know what's going on. It'll save you time, energy, and conversations in the future. But yeah, I was walking to this, the place I was going to eat, and there's like a lot of construction going on here. As well. And I just wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to walk like starting from the end of the building to the cafe. Like, I didn't know if I'd be able to cut through. And I guess this guy across the street that he was doing valet or security, I don't know, for this building over here, which is literally an apartment complex. He like gets my attention and crosses the street and he was just asking if I needed help with anything or if I like couldn't find something. I was like, oh yeah, like I'm trying to get to this cafe, but I just didn't know if I could cut through here. And he's like, oh. Like he kind of like went up and he was like, yeah, oh yeah, you can. He was like, I thought you were trying to get to the gym. I was like, yeah. And then, yeah, he like walked me maybe five steps and I guess that was enough for him to think that I was going to give him my Instagram. I said no. But anyways, I was just driving. It just turned green. I was driving and I just saw him again and just got all the discomfort all over again. Do I need to get in? Yeah, I need to get in this thing. Now that I'm actually like taking the initiative to list my clothes and sell them and they're not hung up in my closet anymore. I've went through my drawers and 80% of the stuff that were in there, I'm donating because it either doesn't fit, I'm not wearing it anymore, it's just wasting space. I mean, that whole like thing I have my clothes in, organizer is falling apart. Like my cats have scratched it but not only that i've just put so i've packed so many clothes in it that it's falling apart the bottoms are hanging it just it's barely serving its purpose at this point i've never had an actual dresser before and i'm definitely planning to invest in one um in the next couple of months to actually have like a solid organizer to put my clothes in i mean that was doing the job as long as i didn't overflow them and it wasn't you know packed with stuff it would have been fine but yeah, it just wasn't. I just realized I'm getting home without direction. Growth. What am I gonna change into? Cause I'm thinking about what, like I don't even have anything at the house. So. Oh yeah, I do. I could just wear what I had initially planned on wearing today. Four dollars? Let me clarify, that is not good for gas. This is just an area where they can get away with it because it's so, there's so much traffic here. Like so many people come to this area. Cause I saw it for 3.9, not even far from here, but I have four miles, so I can't really afford to like risk that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get gas here. Oh. Bro, my dumbass literally didn't even park. How did I forget what side the gas was? Like, 
All right, we are good on gas. I have 317 miles now. Yeah, next thing I would love to do is get my car cleaned because it is just about time. I have driven six plus hours in my car since the last time I got it washed. And driving that far, you're gonna get bugs, you're gonna get rain, you're gonna get different types of weather. So it's very much due for a cleaning. So I'm gonna go to my favorite car wash place, which is Car Wash. Three five, and we're gonna do that. My head's still kind of throbbing a little bit. I'm sorry, maybe I need to drink water. Another thing I'd love to do is go to the gym today because I said I was gonna go, or I planned to go yesterday and I did not, so we'll probably go do that later as well. Instead of listening to music, I'm gonna listen to my um, Spanish lessons because I listen to the same four songs all the time. Okay, just one song. Also, it's nearly been... Well, I think I started, like, saying I wanted to pick up Spanish. It was, like, it was, like, nine months ago, nine or ten months ago also. Like, nine months, I would say. But I would say I've only been really consistent for maybe three of those months. So, I'm not even going to say, oh, yeah, I've been practicing for nine months. Because if I said that, I would have progressed a lot more than I have, basically. Learning a new language, it's very enjoyable. But also, of course, there's frustration, there's confusion, there's times where you're not as motivated or excited to learn. I mean, I'm always excited to learn, but there's just certain methods that worked for me then that don't work for me now that are just very outplayed for me and boring. There's these little lessons that I, I literally paid to have on my phone that I'll have for the rest of my life because I paid for it once that are super beneficial and the more I listen to them, the more those statements would just kind of automatically translate in my head when I hear them. So that's basically what I should but I've definitely done more listening than I have speaking, so I'm able to comprehend more than I can get my point across, which is pretty normal when you first learn a language. First it's kind of understanding, and then it's starting to actually be able to get your point across and respond. That's normally a little less overwhelming than trying to do both at the same time. Now I ain't playing with these bitches. They childish. She said I ain't got no heart, bitch. Bienvenidos a la lección número 14. Hablas español? Puedes hablar en inglés? Yo hablo inglés. Yo hablo inglés, pero no muy bien. Puedes venir conmigo esta noche? Voy a hablar contigo mañana. Voy a hablar con él. Es un estudiante, pero ella es una maestra. He e res e stu di ar con mi go me gusta e so por que no me gusta eso okay i am here uh the line is not long which is good i'm gonna go ahead and save them time and just kind of straighten up my i was about to say my place my car a bit so they have easier access to everything it's really not a mess because i've at least picked things up and actually gotten rid of the trash since the last time and i've yet to really recollect that so that's good definitely still some things i can get rid of i forgot i had this in here is that mold yep. like here if i were to practice how to say like hi i want to do inside and out i know inside is adentro and outside is afuera but I don't know afuera, but I don't know if like it would be different. I've heard it before on Duolingo, but I don't know. Inside and out. Dentro. Fuera. Okay, so like it's basically just cut down. Okay, let me clean my shit out. It's dirty. We got I know they're gonna see all the packs of hair I have in the bag. Like, what the fuck? I like, what you got it too. I have like three packs of pre-stretched hair back there. Always gotta be prepared. Okay, I'm good. Let me get out of this car so they can do their thing. Ew. Is it rain? 
I know. Would you like to leave it this? Yeah, I'll just give it to him. Thank you. Thank you. Literally pouring. It's literally pouring. I just got my car cleaned. You see what I mean? Like in experience or like times like this. Like if I could just understand and communicate back. Also, I'm not even saying this in a way. I feel like whenever I filmed the video, it made it seem like I almost felt guilty for not being able to understand. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to understand. Um, one, I'm American as fuck. Um, my first language is English. So I am not gonna be able to process every single word he said because I still have so much to learn and that's okay. But experiences like this just give me more examples and more inspiration to continue to learn Spanish, basically. What's crazy is whenever, like, before I moved here and I made the video, you know, talking about how I was gonna move here, I talked about, you know, cause I had been starting to learn Spanish prior. And in that video where I talked about me moving here, I had explained one of the main reasons I wanted to learn. I cannot believe it's raining. This is about as Florida as I can get. At least like my car is clean, so. I can't even, like, that's horrible. At least the inside's clean. They take everything out. I don't want to take out the spot. But they take everything out. They take out the rugs. Bro, my car is already drenched. I'm underneath. And I had explained in that video how one of the main reasons I wanted to learn is because I knew they spoke a lot of Spanish here. People move from all over here. Basically, I explained that in the video. And um, I had had some people tell me like yeah that's great um i think it's a good thing that you're learning and then other people like i was basically being told that i don't have to learn it because the main language is english here and honestly i was really surprised to hear that it's like i don't want to leave but it's already calming down like the car's already wet at this point yeah i basically had people told tell me like oh yeah you don't need to learn because like we speak english here I found it really interesting that people were literally giving me reasons as to why I don't need to learn. Like why, I, basically why I should just stick to English. Like why, if I am trying to expand my horizons and actually learn a second language, I, I would just never expect people to give me reasons to not learn a second language basically. Like I know they were basically just confirming to me that I don't, like I could get around without it, but there's also places you cannot get around without it. I had no idea what Mans was saying. I could give you so many perfect examples of times where I just wasn't even able to like get my point across. It doesn't make me frustrated or guilty or anything, but it just makes me more motivated to learn honestly because I just know I could get a lot further with it. And think about even with job op opportunities, you just have more opportunity when you can speak other languages. This gloomy weather is actually really nice. Hopefully that washed away some of the heat. But yeah, I just found that really surprising. But then once I moved here, it was exactly what I expected. I love it though. Like I absolutely love it. I love the diversity here and just, and Spanish is not the only language I'll hear. I feel like the second most spoken language I hear here is Creole. Um, I hear French, I hear Russian, Arabic. Um, I'm like, I'm like in the middle of the street. How does, this road makes no sense. What else? Languages I honestly couldn't even put a finger on because I don't even know what it was. Like, I've just never heard it before. just got to our next location we're now at barnes and noble in coral gables i love this area it's so beautiful it's a lot more quiet i know i haven't talked about my reading much recently and that's because i haven't been reading as much recently and yeah i'm like three chapters into my most recent colleen hoover book which is regretting you and i just haven't read it since or i haven't really opened it since i've said multiple times i was gonna get back into it like that book specifically and i just haven't so 
I decided why don't I try to just read a different author so I've heard of this one author before but I've never tried one of her books and I haven't heard a whole lot about her I just know and I, well I've heard she's good it's Penelope Douglas I've actually I know I've been suggested to read her books before also but I'm um, definitely one like I love a good romance novel and um, Colleen Hoover will definitely do that for you I'm gonna finish that book um, at some point but I don't know if it's gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna I may read another book before I get back into that one from what I've heard Penelope Douglas's books basically it's like Colleen Hoover books times 10 from what I've heard I've just heard that she makes like if you think Colleen Hoover can get spicy you ain't read Penelope Douglas from what I've heard and although that's not the only reason I read books it does definitely add some seasoning to the book like it really makes me i don't know maybe they'll just give off a less uh i don't know how to explain it i don't want to say childish because they're grown-ass adults but i don't know just a different vibe so there's a couple books i've heard from her that are good so i'm gonna see if they have any that long ass dick didn't have any lube on it so it felt like he was rubbing his wood in my home and starting a bonfire all i could do was bury my face into the pillows and scream and entirely too hot so really upsetting news I went in and they only had one book by the author and it was one that she published in 2014 and there's nothing wrong with that because I read maybe someday and that was published in 2014 by Colleen Hoover and that was amazing but there's like specific books from hers that I think are more recent that I've just heard are really good so I wasn't gonna get one that I haven't really heard much about I'm not saying other people need to like it for me to like it but for such a new author I'd rather read things that are highly recommended you know but I'm definitely getting to the point where I'm starving and I got food at the house so I'm gonna be eating some leftovers of a HelloFresh meal that I made last night gym i am about to put this t-shirt on my pump cover you would not believe what i'm about to put on a thrasher shirt first of all they changed the material i used to wear if you go back and watch my videos i used to wear thrasher shirts religiously in like ninth grade this is the perfect this is like the definition of a pump cover I didn't roll it though. I'm gonna be doing a HIT workout, which are the death of me. If you don't know what HIT stands for, it stands for high intensity interval training. Once again, it's just a way I'm going to be incorporating some higher intensity workouts into my weekly split. So I'm able to just get my heart moving. Like it's just good for your cardiovascular health because I don't be doing none of that shit. And it's good for you. I have my pre-workout in creatine here. I hope I brought my AirPods in here. I'm gonna have to go back to the car. Please say I did. I don't want to go back. Please, yes. Also, I took off my makeup. I forgot I don't have makeup wipes anymore. But I also know they're not the best for your skin anyway. Or from what I've heard. So I used this. I don't know what you would call that. But it's just another way to remove your makeup. It kind of melts it off your face. I prefer how this looks here than what the fuck I tried to do earlier. I don't know why I left the house thinking that shit looked good. It did not. Like, And I have to go back through and edit that. And look at, my, look at the shit the whole time. I should have just went out of this. Fresh face. It's okay though, we learn from our mistakes.
So I just got back from the gym. I am on the floor. It is nine o'clock at night. Does it look like I wanna cook dinner? We've already had this conversation about how about cooking at nine o'clock at night. I don't feel like cooking shit, but I have so much food here because I just got my Hello Fresh. But my perfect excuse, I just thought about it. Um, my meat isn't even thought out. I can't cook shit, so I'm thinking protein shake for sure. I got these new protein pizzas to try by Quest. They're like these little tiny protein pizzas with like 25 grams of protein in them. They taste like they have 25 grams of protein in them, which is not good. Like anything that you could taste the protein, the powdery consistency in, is just not good. They're very grainy. Even when they're crispy, they just taste like sand. So yeah, I have one more of those, but I will not be cooking it. I have sticky notes all over my house because I remember one of the first, the very first things that I did. Let me wash my hands. One of the very first things I did when I wanted to learn Spanish was labeling everything in my home. And the thing is, like the last time I had them in my house laid out everywhere, they were there but I never paid attention to them or really, my brain, like they just went over my head because I never really paid attention to them, they were just there. And that's kind of what I'm doing this time around too, but here and there. I'll actually intentionally read the sticky notes. I also have them all over my wall of just different words and sayings that are good to know. We have espejo, puerta. Um, we have this word is so hard to say for me. Refrigerador. 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 My lips are so ashy right now. Microondas, horno, gabinete, um, lavadora, secadora. And then I literally have all these in my room that I put up like two weeks ago maybe. One of them fell. I don't know where it went. But these would actually help me a lot. I'd just be walking right past them in the morning. But I should really go over all of them each morning. Because it doesn't take that long to say. It just looks like a lot. But it's really not a whole lot. Just like little sayings. La puerta está abierta. No lo quiero. Voy a leer este libro en mi sillón. Which means I'm going to read this book on my couch. Da donde la salida. Where's the exit? Me siento mal. I feel bad. Ir al supermercado to go to the supermarket. Puedo entrar. Can I enter? Te gusta? Do you like? Como está el clima? How's the weather? Es temprano. It's early. Están abierto. Are they open? Como te sientes? How do you feel? Um, hasta pronto. See you soon. Siga, de de Siga derecho. Go straight. The thing is, I love speaking Spanish. Like just the way that it sounds. It's so beautiful and like once you learn how to pronounce certain letters and words it just kind of rolls off your tongue it's just such like a pretty language to me but yeah like i love speaking it but when it's time to use it in public babe that first language come out real quick and it'll always be after i realize i could have used it in a situation even to say that like why i'm not answering or why i look confused as fuck even though i'm pretty sure they get the point once I literally look like a deer in headlights. I got the car wash, for example. When that guy, I'm not completely sure what he was asking me. But I could have just said, lo siento. Um, estoy aprendiendo español por... No. Estoy aprendiendo español, pero mi español es no bueno. Like, at least gave him some type of explanation. When I tell you I've never seen this shit before. Also, I'm going to open my balcony door because I found... It's so fucking hot. I can leave it open for them all day to get some fresh air. They don't want anything to do with it during the day. Like, it's too hot. So, I found that they only really lay out here at night. They love it at night. But during the day, absolutely not. Last night, I was in bed wondering where all my cats were. Because normally, they'll lay in bed with me. And they were all on the balcony. So I'm showered and I'm about to throw on a hoodie and go get some food because baby is shaking going to do it. I am going to drink my shake. That's normally the last thing I like to put in my system before I go to bed. But I'm going to need some real food. So I'm going to go to this taco spot that I really like. I know it's good and they're open till like 12 I think. Also I realized this before I went to the gym but my belly button ring just fell out. I have no idea where it went. And there's just a gaping hole in my stomach. It looks so weird without it. I kind of like it though. But yeah I did not beg my dad for a year and a half have to get a belly button ring for it to um disappear so yeah it'll survive a night like i've had it for years at this point but i am gonna go 
going somewhere tomorrow because I'm scared it's gonna close up. There's only a couple piercings to this day that I could leave out and they wouldn't close. I think it would just be this nose piercing I got when I was 15. I think my septum would be good. This healed so quickly. I think I'd be fine with that. My lobes, tragus, absolutely not. I've had this for three years. It's still yet to heal. My conch still is yet to heal. It's sore to this day. Oh, also, I took out my industrial piercing a couple months ago and I did not expect anybody to notice, but I've actually had a decent amount of people ask me where my industrial piercing went and I took it out because it got infected. I've had it since I was 16 years old and it never healed ever it would have times where it wouldn't be sore and it would seem like it was healing and then i'd sleep on it one night and it would get super sore tender swollen and it got to the point like the day i took it out it was swollen it had crust there was pus oozing out of it it was red it was so painful so i just decided to take it out because it is never that serious for a piercing never that serious the fact that i had it for that long and it did not heal is ridiculous but also the thing about an industrial piercing the fact that it's one piece of jewelry but it's two piercings connected the moment that your industrial pulls on one side it's gonna irritate the other one because they're connected so it's a very tedious healing process mine never healed so i just took that bitch out i've done that with i used to have two cartilage piercings here took those out i still have a scar on my ear to this day this is never gonna go away but it got so infected and it got so swollen that the cartilage piercing started to sink into my ear. I woke up one morning and I couldn't see it. So I had to push it back through and I had to take that out. I had a tragus on this side before, but it was pierced incorrectly. So I had to take that out. I used to have a second nose piercing on this side, I think. I don't even know. I took that out because I liked how it looked better with one. But I've definitely had my nose pierced five times at least. Yeah, I've definitely, I have a long history with the piercings. I used to get them very consistently but at this point there's really not much else i'd get i've been told i would look good with a smiley piercing but i don't really want that the one piercing i have thought about getting is my back dimples pierce which are dermal piercing i thought about that ever since i've gained weight and got a little more fluffy i feel like the indentions are a little more prominent i've thought about that other than that not really and when it comes to tattoos i have absolutely nothing in mind whenever i first started getting tattoos it was definitely more impulsive and just kind of because i could and now i don't really have a strong desire to get them i love the process like i would love to get another one but there's nothing on the top of my head that i have thought about getting that i really like that i really really want but if i saw something that i immediately was like okay i want this on my body i would do it but other than that no I love all of my tattoos. I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty tatted up for 20 now. I mean, at this day and age, I feel like this is like pretty normal amount. But yeah, my absolute favorite still to this day is my dragon on my thigh. I'm so thankful that my little undeveloped 18 year old brain, although it's still developing now, I'm just happy I had taste with such a big tattoo that's gonna be in my body forever because yeah, that just could have gone really downhill, especially for it to be such a big piece that's unavoidable. Yeah, I'm very happy that. I'm still, I still love this one. I love when we go on our evening drives together. Yeah, I'm hungry as fuck, so. Like, I'm going to eat my food in the parking lot, and that is guaranteed. <laughs> Okay, so was my seat always this far back? I drive really far back. Anyways, so I got my food. I'm not gonna be able to open this without. Normally she opens it for you. It's literally I know how to do it, but like kind of limited on resources in the car. <laughs> Imagine me just going back in asking her to help me open it. Can you help me open this? I'll be right back. Normally when I go to this place, I get a jarrito to drink harito 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 i've got guava which i've never had it's interesting i'm gonna drink it but it's not my favorite i love mango the last time i came here i got mango which i didn't even realize i had but that shit was incredible 
I got tacos de pollo. I got chicken tacos. Ooh, they smell so good. I got four of them, but they're very tiny. And then I added lettuce, guacamole. I think that's it. <laughs> I thought they had cilantro on them. They have other options as far as toppings. But these don't need much. Mm. My windows are tinted, but if yeah, that's lights on, it's basically a spotlight like you're asking for, for people to look into your car. That was really a good idea to do that tomorrow, but honestly, I'm so exhausted. It's 11.30, and I just really want to take advantage of me being tired already, so I'm going to bed. Hot oil treatment, that was also a cute idea. Um, I'm tired. Plus, <coughs> I'm just going to end up slicking my hair back tomorrow anyway, so it kind of be a waste. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow as well, but for tonight, I kind of, yeah, I'd love to go ahead and go to bed because... I kind of actually want to wake up early like I've been saying I was gonna start waking up early to go on walks by the beach because that just sounds like a beautiful way to start your morning and right now it's just an idea I've yet to actually execute it but I think that would be so beneficial and grounding for me this is your reminder to floss I swear like people just don't include it in their dental hygiene routine and I'm not shaming anyone but it's just so important like a lot of cavities can actually form in between your teeth from things that get stuck in between but if your gums will bleed when you floss you're not flossing enough because i've i've been in that position before it would hurt so bad to floss but it shouldn't hurt but yeah people really just don't be flossing i guess but i have teeth that are very uh and i've always been told to floss because i'm more likely to get cavities in between my teeth but that and brushing your tongue i'm begging of you if you're not brushing your tongue when you brush your teeth, I know your breath still stinks. I know it. Because ain't no way. I would never speak that way to a stranger. But we're cool like that. So, I am out of breath. I am tired. I'm just going to change it to some shorts. I cannot believe my belly button piercing just disappeared. I just came back from my car because I had to, I couldn't find my wallet. So I knew the only other place it would be is um, the car. And we don't leave valuables in the car. So there was no way I was going to be able to go to bed knowing that shit was in the car. So, Plus, I just wanted to confirm it was. So um, I went and got that. And now we can go to bed. Thank you.